SpaceX, or Space Exploration Technologies Corps, is the American aerospace company started by Elon Musk and has come a long way since it made its first rocket, Falcon 1. Today, SpaceX has unveiled an incredible and ambitious plan of taking tourists to space and even the moon. Here's how they plan to do it. But before you embark on this incredible and awesome space ride, click on the notification and subscribe to this channel. It all starts with Elon Musk and his incredible mind. We all know who Elon Musk is. The futuristic industrial engineer and designer is popular for his crazy predictions and he's the man behind the reality of his ambitious goals. Well, particularly if we could get the public excited about sending people to Mars. He gave us the electric roadster. He even put one into space and it is orbiting the sun right now. But if his ambition of taking tourists into space sounds too fantastic, it's nothing compared to his ultimate goal, and that is for SpaceX to take people to Mars, if not to infinity and beyond. The age of space tourism is upon us. Space tourism is slowly catching on and there is a lot of interest being generated in taking people to the stars. Currently, three companies are in the race for taking people into space. Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic has now become the first publicly traded space tourism company, offering multiple people a few minutes of weightlessness in its massive space plane for a few hundred thousand dollars. Not to be outdone, the billionaire Jeff Bezos, who owns space company Blue Origin, has also announced a similar experience to tourists who ride into space on its new Shepard rocket. But compared to the ambitious plans of SpaceX, these are just routine sightseeing affairs. Elon Musk's plans of space tourism. The biggest challenge of, of getting to Launchpad um, has been that we had to completely redesign the center core. Go beyond just a few minutes in space and will be an experience none are likely to forget. The launching of SpaceX. SpaceX was established in 2002, and it has not even been two decades, yet the company is already ferrying NASA astronauts on space missions and to the International Space Station too. SpaceX has developed the Starlink satellite constellation and a number of launch vehicles and spacecraft like the Crew Dragon and the Falcon Heavy, which ferried his own Tesla-made Red Roadster into space. The cherry red Tesla convertible's only passenger was the dummy driver. SpaceX is now embarking on a project to colonize Mars, but first, it will take tourists into space, and to achieve that, the company has launched its interplanetary space travel project called Starship. Running parallel to the Starship project will be the Dear Moon project to take tourists to the moon. Starship the new interplanetary travel project of SpaceX. In 2016, Elon Musk launched the interplanetary transport system, which he later renamed Starship. 2020 was an eventful year for the company when the SpaceX crew Dragon Demo 2 carried two NASA astronauts to the International Space Station in May. That was a historic achievement for the company, and if NASA was their first customer, why not humans who were loaded too? The new Project Starship will now be the company's primary SpaceX orbital vehicle that will ultimately replace its existing vehicles like the Falcon 9 and Dragon, and will be a completely reusable system engineered for space tourism. In fact, SpaceX has lined up space missions to take tourists on an orbital space trip, a trip to the International Space Station, and also to the Moon. SpaceX Space Tourism Mission High into Earth's Orbit in early 2020, SpaceX tied up with US space tourism company Space Adventures to send three or four tourists into space on its new Crew Dragon spacecraft. The flight will be a free-riding mission into Earth's orbit in 2021. 
The historic space tourism mission will last up to five days and is planned for 2021. Space Adventures, the company partnering with SpaceX to handle the complete logistics of the project, is no newcomer to space tourism. Founded in 1998, the company has already taken seven tourists to the International Space Station aboard Russian Soyuz rockets. The fantastic space trip will not be docking with the ISS and instead will go even higher into space on a free-flying mission to launch passengers higher into Earth's orbit than ever before. It will reach an altitude two or three times that of the ISS by late 2021 to mid-2022 from Cape Canaveral Space Force Base in Florida. The space mission is going to be a one-in-a-lifetime opportunity where no astronaut, let alone a civilian, has gone before. The four lucky but loaded individuals will also gain the opportunity to break the world altitude record set by a private citizen for spaceflight and will see planet Earth the way no one has since the Gemini 11 mission in 1966. The ISS orbits Earth at an average altitude of about 250 miles, and yet the SpaceX trip will go beyond that. Tourists aboard the SpaceX flight will also be sharing seats with Charles Simonyi, founder of Microsoft and Anushi Ansari, the first female space tourist. The SpaceX tourism mission to the International Space Station SpaceX's second big announcement in 2020 is its plan of a second trip into space, also scheduled for late 2021. The company has signed on Houston-based startup Axiom Space to handle the logistics to take three tourists on a 10-day trip to the International Space Station. The trip will use the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket and its new Crew Dragon spacecraft and although seven people will have visited the space station earlier, this mission will be the first fully private trip to the ISS. During their orbital vacation, the three space tourists will spend two days traveling and eight days aboard the ISS with space to mingle with astronauts and get to know the work they do there module. Um, of course, most of these modules you'll see they have four sides. Axiom Space, founded in 2016, has set a goal for itself to become the world's first commercial space station. Presently, the company is already conducting missions into low orbit with permission from NASA, who has granted the company access to the forward port of the ISS's Harmony module. By 2024, Axiom plans to organize paid trips to space for tourists or fly crewed missions for astronauts to the ISS. The space tourism flight is being made possible after NASA announced last year that it would start opening up the ISS to more commercial activities like space tourism. How much will a ticket to space cost? Human spaceflight doesn't come cheap and regardless of how reusable a rocket is, a reliable life support system is necessary to ensure safe passage and return. The cost of tickets for the free-flying orbit flight arranged by Space Adventures has not been revealed as yet, although it is expected to run into millions. If you want to even think about being part of the iconic SpaceX 10-day ISS trip, be ready to pay $55 million, which is what it will cost per person. And get this, one seat is already booked, although the identity of the person has not been revealed, so just two or three seats seats are available. With seats on the Dragon spacecraft costing $55 million, space tourism won't be a viable option even for the rich. You need to be filthy rich, like multi-billionaire rich to get on board. There will be cheaper space options like those of Virgin Galactic and Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin who are planning to take people to space but only for a few minutes. The cost of these flights is expected to be a few thousand dollars. The Dear Moon Projects SpaceX's third tourist mission is a private ride for Japanese billionaire Yusaku Meizawa, who will be using the SpaceX Starship system to fly on a six-day space tour that will include a single circumlunar trajectory around the moon. But this is when I thought there are so many artists with us today. Accompanying Meizawa will be eight artists and two crew members and is scheduled for 2023. 
The cost of the flight may be a mere $2 million per person, but why is this lower than a trip to space? This is because SpaceX Star System is a huge 100-passenger spacecraft carried by SpaceX's new Super Heavy rocket, which will phase out its Falcon rockets. The Super Heavy will use only $900,000 worth of propellant to get it off Earth and into orbit, making operational costs $2 million. The Spacecrafts That Will Carry Tourists Into Space both space tourism missions to the ISS and the Free Flying Orbit ride will be using SpaceX's very successful Crew Dragon spacecraft. The reusable space vehicle was successfully tested for crew-based flights when it launched two NASA astronauts, Douglas Hurley and Robert Behnken, to the International Space Station in May 2020. The Crew Dragon spacecraft will be using the Falcon 9 Heavy rocket as the launch vehicle for both missions. Ultimately, SpaceX plans to do away with the Falcon system and focus completely on Starship for interplanetary travel. The Crew Dragon spacecraft can carry up to seven passengers, and for the ISS trip, the non-four crew members will be required to undergo several weeks of training prior to launch from Cape Canaveral, Florida. The orbital spaceflight will be autonomously controlled with no trained crew. The Free Flight Orbital Space Trip will also use the Crew Dragon spacecraft, but will be an even bigger iconic event because it will not be crewed by any trained astronaut on board. The mission will be launched from Launch Complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center and will be operated completely autonomously. The spacecraft will be launched into a high orbit around the Earth twice the height of the ISS. America has and will spend five days in orbit before splashing down in the Atlantic Ocean. Now wasn't that an exhilarating video to watch? If you want more amazing videos, subscribe to our channel.